Camper, how big was last week for you personally to get some confidence? To, they targeted you a lot, but didn't have a lot of completion. Because how big was that for you? Uh, I mean, that was big. Uh, just going out and playing a game, uh, having a game like I know I could. Um, just playing up to my ability uh, every game and not slacking um, and not letting myself slack. I mean, my teammates not letting me slack. So just knowing that, uh, I mean, I can go out there and play like that. I mean, just knows what I have to come out there and do every time. You grew up, you grew up around this rivalry. So what does it mean to play in it again? I mean, this is the biggest game, uh, or one of the biggest games uh, of the year. Always. I mean, this is a rivalry game. This is for the state championship. I mean, this game means so much for a suggestion and I mean so many other reasons so I mean this is always one of the biggest games of the year. What's well, more significant for the guys who grew up in South Florida to choose to come up here and could be you, a part of this game? Could you say it again? Is it a little different for the guys who grew up in South Florida to oh, yeah. come up here and be a part of the uh, from the Florida State side? Oh uh, yeah it's definitely different I mean because I mean it's a lot of guys who chose to stay home and go to Miami and that was always their dream school but I mean just growing up with those guys always playing football with them I mean, it's always competition, always competitiveness, but when you, once you choose your side, and I mean, it's Florida State, Miami, it gets a little heated, it gets, it gets real chippy. Coach Barnett said that the coaches have tried to back off talking to you guys at practice and let you guys communicate a little bit more. Have you seen that a little bit? Has that been helpful? Oh yeah, that's definitely helpful, because I mean, the coaches aren't gonna be there in the game. Uh, I mean, the mistakes that we're gonna make, uh, I mean, it's good that we make those mistakes uh, early in the week in practice so that we can correct them, I mean, and so that we can know and get a feel for the looks on our own and not just depend on the coach. The coach sees it, so he gets the call in and we get the call in, because uh, he's not gonna be out there with us on the field. I think it's the secondary you guys gave up the fewest yards you've given up all season through the air. I guess what will work for you guys in the game? Well, I mean, like I said, just coming to play how we know we can play. I mean, we haven't played up to our ability um, a lot this year. Uh, I mean, but just coming out and playing up to our ability all the time and just holding ourselves to that standard. Do you feel like you can kind of keep that going against a Miami team that's struggled a little bit the past football? Uh, yes, I definitely think we can keep that going. I mean, it's just locking in onto the details. Uh, I mean, coming and getting better this week. And I mean, just staying locked in in the film as well. Is there more like talking between plays when you play a team like Miami, or are you just that dialing that you're, that's, that's not a part of the game? Uh, I mean, you got to keep your emotions intact. I mean, it will be some drawing back and forth because of how big of a game it is, and I mean how much of a rivalry it is. But you got to make sure you keep that some of that intact so that you can lock in and stay focused on your assignment and the task at hand. We know they got that turnover chain and everything. I mean, you guys don't have the prop, but I mean, just how much of it is the is the motivation to want to go out there and, and, and show that you guys are the defense that has the, the better aggression and, and can create the turnover? I mean, that's it's definitely that's definitely a battle of the way that you can look at it. But I mean, I see it as as long as our offense can go out there and dominate uh, on their side of the ball, and the defense goes out there and plays their best game, I think we'll be in good shape. Does it feel different if, if Perry or Williams is out there for, for what your keys are going to have to be? Um, I mean, not too much. I mean, it's film on both guys so that you can go back and watch film on both guys and their tendencies and how they like to do certain things and how they throw their balls. So, I mean, you have film enough to watch them, both guys. I mean, they're both pretty good, but it's, I mean, whichever guy we see, we'll be ready for. Right. Hey, you in the games as a kid. Do you remember the first time you went to an FSC Miami game? Mm, the first one I can recall, I mean, I always tell this story is when my pops hit uh, Roscoe, but I was sleeping in the stands. It was raining pretty hard. I'm not sure how I was asleep, but I was asleep. And um, I don't even remember it through my own eyes. I was told the story, and then I see a bunch of pictures and videos of me being at the game. So, I mean, I'm guessing that was my first time being there. Stanford Sox have already been asked this, but uh, Hamster had 17 tackles uh, Saturday. What did you think? Oh, I mean, he had, he had a crazy game. I mean, he's capable of that every week. Uh, I mean, it's just whether whether the plays come at him, whether the plays fall, in, fall into his hands like they did uh, on Saturday. I mean, he flies around. He pays attention to the details, and, I mean, it just paid off for him on Saturday. Coach Barnett mentioned he kind of didn't uh, you know, understand the entire defense, not just mm -hmm. his position. Has he been helping any of y'all out uh, with calls or uh, uh I mean. Yeah, some of the younger guys. I mean, because me, we we've been in the system the same amount of time. I mean, I know the system pretty well, also. But I mean, it just feels that more comfortable uh, with it not being just our first year in the system. It's our second year, so we got a little bit of comfort level with the system, and we can do different things and not just everything be done by the book or how by, by exactly how coach coach says it or coach wants it to be done. But we still get it done. All right. Thank you. Thank you.